Hello Pasangala, this is your master teacher Niveta making bio learning very very simplified just for you all of you guys. So in this session we have Vati's top question. I have curated 5 very very simple questions from today's session. Do test yourself immediately what you have learnt. So in this session I am going to be discussing about the other parts of your sexual reproduction and flowering plants that is right after pollination, agents of pollination, uh, then outbreeding device, artificial hybridization, double fertilization, this is in the class. So, session don't forget to like, share, subscribe and do not forget to leave a comment. Yes. So, what are the agents of pollination? Okay, the agents that bring about pollination. So, something that is helping in pollination are called as agents of pollination. So, we have abiotic agents and biotic agents. What are abiotic agents? They are the non-living structures which include your wind and water. And you also have your biotic agents like birds, insects, reptiles and mammals. So, this one is the one that we will clear. Okay, pollination through wind is called anemophily. Pollination through water is called hydrophily. Pollination by insects is called entomophily. Pollination by birds is called ornithophily. And pollination by bats is called charopterophily. Yes, now let's discuss about wind pollination. So, in the wind pollination plants, the the most common abiotic agent, the wind is the most common abiotic agent that helps in pollination. Pasangla. So, you should understand here the pollen grains should be light and sticky. Okay. So, if you wind pollinating, light the pollen grain and they should be non sticky. Sticky is non sticky. Okay. And they possess well exposed stamens and large, often feathery stigma. So, this feathery stigma, feathery in the Okay, so that feathery stigma will be able to capture the pollens from the wind. Okay, so they are usually exhibited by corn and also by grasses. So in random potent MCQs, they can be asked as an MCQ in your board exam. Okay, next coming to hydrophily. Okay, hydrophily hypohydrophily and epihydrophily. Okay, hyponine. The pollination that takes place below the surface of water, tanni kulla nadakara pollination is called as hypohydrophily. Okay, the example is zostera. Okay, the epihydrophily, the pollination that takes place on the surface of water, hypona ulla, epina on the surface of water is called as uh, epihydrophily. So, water pollination in the mainland, so hydrophily in so So, in the hydrophily, le, rendu vidho irukke, okay, one is hypo, another one is epi. Hypo is inside the surface of water, epi is on the surface of water. Okay, next you have entomophily. It is pollination by birds is called as entomophily. So, all these insect pollinated uh, flowers, they will be brightly colored. They will have a fragrance. Rumpa alagana smell. Correct. Then they will also be having nectar. So, what is nectar? It is a reward that is given by the flower to the insect which is going to help in pollination. Okay, so that's very very important. You have flies, ants, beetles, wasps. Okay, they are the common pollinating agents when it comes to insects. So, these are different kinds of pollinating agent. Now, next time we the outbreeding devices. So, outbreeding devices are So, they are devices which avoid self-pollination. Okay, you know, self-pollination avoid panakuria devices. Now, the outbreeding devices in Solram Pasangla, Rombo Rombo Mukhemana Vishio, Inga and the Na interfere agala. Human being is not interfering. They are natural outbreeding device. Okay, the first one in the pair Navuachikati Paravala, you should remember the points. 5.5 mark. Okay. The first one is pollen release and stigma receptivity are at different times. Usually, or inbreeding plant or self-pollinating plant, the pollen and the stigma receptivity will be in the same time. 
but here the time will differ okay to avoid self pollination next you have heterostylal what is heterostylal the anther and the stigma will be at different positions okay so eppadi irukum and the position and the position will not allow self pollination okay so it is going to avoid self pollination here also next this is very interesting pasangala self incompatibility self incompatibility na enna though the pollen falls on the stigma of the same flower there will be no pollen pistil interaction and the pollen pistil interaction e nadakadu okay nadakadana enna artham pasangala the pollen is not incompat not compatible to the pistil okay next you have unisexuality unisexuality na ipo or flower or plant irukku na and the plant and the plant la vande male flower female flower thani thaniya irukum so this is going to avoid autogamy but the gitanogamy will not be avoided okay then you have hercogamy hercogamy na i'll have one plant that will produce only male flowers i have another plant that will produce only female flowers so idha da na vandu hercogamy nu solren so these are the five the most important outbreeding devices so the devices that avoid self pollination are called outbreeding devices nam arthu da paaka poradhu the pollen pistil interaction so how is the pollen grain seri pa ipo idhu da enoda stigma nu vechukonga okay my pollen has successfully landed on the stigma what will happen next that is what we call it as pollen pistil interaction pasangla it actually happens only when the pollen and the stigma belongs to the same species if they are say if they are species specific appa mattrana pollen pistil interaction nadakum okay so what happens the pollen germinates on the stigma they absorb moisture and sugar from the stigma and swell up the entire of the pollen grain grows out through the any of the germinal pore of exine okay and they are going to form a pollen tube in the mari or pollen tube structure mari form panuvanga okay when pollen tube comes down the stem idha stem correct ah all vegetative nucleus enter followed by a generative cell so modala vegetative nucleus povo adukapra generative cell povo in the vegetative cell or the function enna na it controls the growth of the pollen tube and generative cell will divide to form two non motile gametes male gametes will be produced okay romba romba mukhyamana vishayam which cell is giving rise to male gametes it is your generative cell pasangla romba romba clear ah purinjukonga so here i have the picture of pollen pistil interaction okay so here you can see the two male gametes okay you can still see the exine is still intact the exine and the apera irukke it is the intine which is coming out through your germ pore okay ipo in the pollen pistil interact aayi enna avum pasangala you can see there is a fili form apparatus in my embryo sac that will guide my pollen tube inside the embryo sac okay so this pollen tube will now carry two male gametes etana male gametes irukum enoda pollen tube la rendu male gamete irukum so one of it will fuse with the egg cell okay the other one will fuse with the central cell okay inga pathingala inga or male gamete which is ready to fuse with my central cell and inga or male gamete which is ready to fuse with my egg cell this is what we call it as double fertilization we will see about it in a little while okay ipo nama paaka porudhu artificial hybridization artificial hybridization na enna pasangala the one which the very famous scientist mendel did with pea plants correct ah so what did he do he chose two plants okay then he actually choose one as a female plant other as a male plant okay so modala enna panuvanga in the female plant a choose panirka plant and they will remove the anther you can see here the entire process three mark question anther is removed in bud condition from a bisexual flower that is what we call it as emasculation now the flower becomes a female flower okay then the emasculated flower is enclosed in a bag made up of a paper or a plastic that is called bagging if a bag pan on me i will bring a mature and viable pollen and dust it can you see here this is how the pollen grain are dusted okay so beautifully it is done it's a very very enna solrathu romba correct ah panna kudiya or process 
ஓகே ரொம்ப இன்ட்ரிகேட்டான ப்ராசஸ் இது ஓகே பேக் இஸ் ஓப்பன் அண்ட் த போலன் கிரீன் ஆர் டெஸ்டட் ஆன் த ஸ்டிக்மா அண்ட் பேக் இஸ் ரீப்ளேஸ்ட் இமீடியட்லி ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் பாலினேஷன் வில் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் வில் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் அண்ட் தே வில் பி ஏபிள் டு டெவலப் இன் டூ சீட்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் வாட் வி கால் இட் ஆஸ் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் ஹைப்ரிடைசேஷன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் த்ரீ மார்க் கொஸ்டின் ஓகே இதுதான் நான் சொல்லிட்டு இருந்த பசங்களா டபுள் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ் டு ஏஞ்சியோ ஸ்பர்ம்ஸ் ஓகே என்னோட ஏஞ்சியோ ஸ்பர்ம்ஸ்ல ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியமான ஒரு ப்ராசஸ் தான் இது ஓகே ஸோ உங்களுக்கு என்ன தெரியும்னா தெர் வில் பி டூ மேல் கேமெட்ஸ் கரெக்டா ரெண்டு மேல் கேமெட் இருக்கும் ஸோ ஒன் மேல் கேமெட் ஓகே ஒன் ஆஃப் இட் இமேஜின் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் மேல் கேமெட் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அனதர் மேல் கேமெட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஹேப்ளாய்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஹேப்ளாய்ட் okay one male gamete fuses with the egg cell idu da enoda egg cell okay and it is going to form a zygote enna form aagum pasangala zygote form aagum okay innor male gamete listen to me very very carefully another male gamete will basically fuse with my டிப்ளாய்டு சென்ட்ரல் செல் இங்க தெரியுதா டிப்ளாய்டு சென்ட்ரல் செல் தெரியுதா அங்க எத்தனை போலார் நூக்லியா இருக்கு ரெண்டு போலார் நூக்லியா இருக்கு ஓகே இட் ஹேஸ் இட் இஸ் டிப்ளாய்டு ஸோ இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு கிவ் ரைஸ் டு ட்ரிப்ளாய்ட் என்டோஸ்பர்ம் செல் ஒரு பிரைமரி என்டோஸ்பர்ம் செல் ஓகே ஸோ இது என்ன செல் இது என்ன செல் மற்ற எழுதிடலாம் இது வந்து எக் செல் ஓகே இது வந்து சென்ட்ரல் செல் ஓகே திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் ஈஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் டபுள் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் பசங்களா ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியமான விஷயம் ஓகே டூ மார் கொஸ்டின் வாட் இஸ் டபுள் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ் ஒன்லி டு யோர் என்ஜியோ ஸ்பம் இப்போ ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் நடந்துருச்சு அதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன நடக்கும் தெர் வில் பி டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் எம்ப்ரியோ கரெக்டா அந்த எம்ப்ரியோ டெவலப் ஆகிறதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஐ வில் ஹாவ் எண்டோஸ்பம் ஃபார்மேஷன் ஓகே எம்ப்ரியோ ஃபார்மேஷன் சீடு ஃபார்ம் ஆகும் ஃப்ரூட் ஃபார்ம் ஆகும் இந்த நாலு ப்ராசஸும் நடக்கும் இந்த நாலு ப்ராசஸ் பற்றி தான் இப்போ நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஓகே ஸோ லெட்ஸ் டாக் அபவுட் த எண்டோஸ்பம் டெவலப்மெண்ட் அதுக்கு முன்னாடி இது ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டண்டான MCQ questions இதுல இருந்து வரலாம் ஓகே த கேலிக்ஸ் கொரோலா ஸ்டைல் ஸ்டிக்மா அண்ட் ரீஷியம் இதெல்லாம் விதர் ஆயிரும் விதர் ஆயிரும்னா என்ன தேவில் ஜஸ்ட் ஃபால் அவே ஆஃப்டர் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் த ஓவரி டெவலப்ஸ் இன் டு ஃப்ரூட் த ஓவரி வால் டெவலப்ஸ் இன் டு பெரி கார் இட்ஸ் அ வால் ஆஃப் அ ஃப்ரூட் தென் ஓவியூல் டெவலப்ஸ் இன் டு சீட் இன்டெக்யூமெண்ட்ஸ் வில் டெவலப் இன் டு சீட் கோட் சீட் கோட்ல ரெண்டு இருக்கு ஓகே த அவுட்டர் டெஸ்டா அண்ட் இன்னர் டெக்மென்ட் the inner integuments will develop into tegment then i have my micropyle which will remain as micropyle funical idella enad what are these these are the parts okay egg cell will develop into zygote okay then zygote is the one which is going to develop into the entire plant later on synergids will dis- de- uh, disintegrate and disappear now let's talk about endosperm ma'am endosperm na enna ma'am they are just a reserve food material pasangla a romba romba strong ana reserve food material okay so the primary endosperm cell so you know you have a male gamete and you have the central cell okay which will form a triploid cell the triploid cell peru da primary endosperm cell okay this primary endosperm cell will now undergo division to form triploid endosperm tissue enna form aagum pasangala triploid endosperm tissue form aagum okay and this triploid endosperm tissue will later on develop into endosperm ma'am what is endosperm endosperm is nothing but a reserve food material pasangala okay sometime this endosperm may be completely used up during germination or some amount of this endosperm will remain even after germination okay so ipo nama vande in the endosperm development la rendu vidamana division irukke okay so they undergo nuclear division to give free nuclei okay this stage of endosperm is called free nuclear endosperm so rendu vidamana nuclear endosperm irukke okay the endosperm are of two types okay very important one is 
free nuclear endosperm okay other one is cellular endosperm okay idu rendu da romba romba mukkiyamaana rendu vidamaana endosperm free nuclear endosperm na they just keep undergoing a nuclear division there is no cytoplasmic division there is no formation of cell wall okay so you take for example your tender coconut okay unga elanir eduthitingna unga elanir thanni irukla that is basically your free nuclear endosperm okay the tender coconut water that's why they tell that tender coconut water is very very rich in nutrients okay because it has free nuclear endosperm they can ask you what are the two types of endosperm unga cellular endosperm eduthukitinga na you have your white kernel adla or vallayana thenga mari irukolla so that is your cellular endosperm okay try to understand this endosperm may be completely consumed by the developing embryo example pea groundnut beans before seed maturation or it may it may remain persistent konjam ond endosperm irukku okay example castor and coconut okay there are certain organisms certain organisms where the endosperm is retained persistent so we call that as cereals wheat rice and maize where the endosperm is persistent konjond endosperm inno michom irukke okay i hope things about endosperm are very very clear okay ipo nama embryo development ku pola the zygote okay you have a male gamete and you have one egg cell they will fuse to form zygote now the zygote will undergo changes pro embryo globular heart shape mature embryo in the mari vidha vidhamana stages ad undergo pannom finally it is going to form the stage correct so you will have a radical you have a plumule you have a radical so the plumule will develops into what shoot we studied this in plant growth and development the radical will develop into what pasangla root okay very much important and you have cotyledons in a dicot embryo you have a monocot embryo that we are going to study next okay yes so idu vandu unga dicot embryo you have an embryonal axis okay that is going to have separate your cotyledon into two okay we they have two cotyledons and you have a plumule which will develop into shoot okay and you have an hypocotyl the region above the cotyledons are called hypocotyl the region below the cotyledon is called epicotyl okay so radical is covered by root cap dicot embryo is very very easy okay example you have your ground net they are all examples for dicot monocot embryo okay so we call it as the endosperm here is called it as cutellum okay then you have coleoptile here you have shoot apex the shoot apex is surrounded by coleoptile the root apex is surrounded by coleorhiza root you have a root uh, a root killer uh, root cap irko radical killer and it will also be covered by coleorhiza and you also have epiblast here they have single cotyledon okay seeds the ovule is going to develop into seeds rendu vidamana seeds irk albuminous or endospermic as i already told you they retain some amount of endosperm okay non albuminous they do not retain the endosperm very important idu important difference between albuminous and non albuminous seeds okay now let's talk about seeds i already told you non albuminous nama ex albuminous nu solrom non albuminous seed do not have any residual endosperm okay as it is completely consumed during the uh, development of your seed okay example pea groundnut albuminous seeds retain a part of your endosperm as it is not completely used up during embryo development example wheat maize barley and castor this is very important in certain cases okay in very certain cases there will be remnants of your new cells so unga embryo sac idna the embryo sac is surrounded by new cells okay so sometimes the new cells is also persistent in the seed adha vandha nama perisperm nu solrom okay and where do we see this perisperm black pepper and beet okay this is important even for neat exam for your mcqs this part is very 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 important okay these are some things about seed ipa nama paaka poradhu fruits so how are fruits developed inga paarenga your ovule develops into seed 
your ovary develops into fruit idu vandu rombo rombo basic ana understand edhu vandu edha develop aagudhu so here you can see let's talk about seed seed la enna pa irukku modala seed coat irukku correct ah they have a seed coat okay inner to the seed coat you have your endosperm in the region idu vandu seed coat okay this is your endosperm and this is your embryo ulla irukiradhu da embryo okay what is the seed coat pasangala this seed coat has two regions the outer testa and the inner tegment rendu region irukinga okay which is going to help and then inner to that you have your embryo okay ipo the entire seed is covered by fruit okay now what is the regions of the fruit called in the fruit vandu na vandu pericarp nu solra enna nu solra pasangala i call it as pericarp this pericarp has three important region the outer exocarp or we can also call it as epicarp mesocarp and inner endocarp okay oru nalla example solren mango eduthuko okay and the tol edukringa la that that basically that skin which you peel is your exocarp that inner fleshy thing which you guys relish that is your mesocarp okay and the kotta edukumbod and the kotta la irundhu konjam fibrous structure varum la adu vandu ungaloda endocarp okay so fruits can be fleshy or it can be dry correct ah fleshy fruits example enna mango orange there are fleshy okay dry fruits you have so many dry fruits okay yes we'll continue false fruit idu romba romba mukkiyamaana vishayam pasangala okay in a few fruits such as apple strawberry and cashew the thalamus also contributes to the fruit formation ma'am thalamus na enna idu da unga basal part okay it is a part on which the ovary stands this is called thalamus okay when the thalamus also contributes for the formation of fruits such fruits are called false fruit very very important so inga paarenga idu da ungala apple the thing which you eat in your apple that fleshy part in your apple is actually thalamus it's not ovary okay so here you can see how beautifully it is shown this also in strawberry the flesh which you actually eat is a thalamus so strawberry apple and cashew are three very very important examples of false fruits okay next we will talk about parthenocarpic fruits what are these parthenocarpic fruits some fruits that develop without fertilization okay without fertilization na enna will they have seeds no they will not have seeds okay example is banana all these are mcq questions okay parthenogenesis na development of organism without fertilization parthenocarpy na development of fruit without fertilization okay apomixis what is apomixis i know this this apomixis and polyembryonia has been deleted i'm just doing it in a brief okay so apomixis is a mechanism to produce seeds without fertilization idu vande previous a paathadhu fruits without fertilization this is seeds without fertilization okay it's a special form of asexual reproduction that mimics your sexual reproduction pasangala romba romba mukkiyamaana vishayam example species of asteraceae and grasses all that and the star mari irukola flowers indha mari kutti kuttiya indha mari right so they all undergo apomixis okay next polyembryony what is polyembryony occurrence of more than one seed in a, a particular embryo is called polyembryony romba easy orange lemon all the citrus fruits they all have they all have multiple seeds watermelon papaya they all have multiple seeds correct ah so that is what we call it as polyembryony pasangala okay yeah next we have some interesting fact okay you have lupinus arcticus it was excavated from arctic tundra 10000 years old 10 varshathukku munadi excavate pannirukanga indha oru seed okay then you have phoenix discovered during excavation at king's herod's palace near dead sea 
So, itthana varshama avanala irukka midhidhu without any destruction. Then see how protective they should have been. Okay. These are some questions. Okay. What is the function of tassels in corn cob? Okay. We just discussed tassels on the enna panno to trap the pollen grain. Okay. Next we have in angiosperm the haploid, diploid and triploid structure of a fertilized embryo sac. Or a fertilized embryo sac la, either in the haploid structure, either diploid structure, either triploid structure in Ketra Kanga. So, what is the haploid structure? Obviously, it could be a synergids, it could be antipodals, correct? Diploid structure, either. what is a diploid structure? Remember, it is a fertilized embryo sac. So, fertilized embryo sac, la, diploid structure, either zygote. And which is a triploid structure? Primary endosperm nucleus. And haploid structure is what? Synergid N, 2M and 3M. Simple. Okay. So, now we proceed. Panalam. Large colorful fragrant flowers with nectar are seen in insect pollinated flowers. Transfer of pollen from anther to the stigma of another flower of same plant is known as gitinogamy. Okay. So, these are some MCQs. Now, I will also give you some very important potential questions. So, first you can write outbreeding devices. Five more question. Outbreeding devices. Okay. Then we can also talk about artificial hybridization. Artificial hybridization. This is one more important question. Okay. Then we also have endosperm and its types. Endosperm and its types. Again examples. Okay. Then we have seeds and its types. Albuminous seed, non-albuminous seed that you can actually understand. Diagram wise, you have to learn monocot embryo, dicot embryo, okay. So, these are all some of the most important questions that could be asked. Other than this, a false fruit, okay, false fruit and pollen pistil interaction, pollen. Pistil interaction idellame rombo rombo mukhyamana question pasangla. By this we complete sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Okay. So if you know in the chapters murchur kon quick solire sexual reproduction in flowering plants ayrshi, biotechnology ayrshi, applications in biotechnology ayrshi, microbes in human welfare is done, molecular basis of inheritance is done, genetics is halfway through. Okay, we have few more chapters that we will be completing very very soon. Do stay tuned for more bio learning and more interesting fun content to ace in your board exams. Thank you so much.